Hey everybody, it's Christy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Sorry I've been gone a few days. Um, everyone in the family has just been sick as dogs. You know how it gets. But I uh, thank y'all for sticking with me and sending me all the sweet loving notes for my family to get better. That just meant so much to me and I can't thank you enough. I just love y'all. I really, really do. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start off with some perfume today. And I'm going to make a statement with this perfume. It is called Estee Lauder Sensuous. Now, you'll see the turquoise color, the blue, marking out this woman's breast. Because Estee Lauder, I have a message for you. Breasts do not sell perfume to women. It just doesn't. As a matter of fact, it repels me from buying your product. Just so you know, if there's any big corporations out there watching... I don't want that on my perfume packages. Just so you know, just throwing that out there. Now, let's smell it. If it smells good, I'll tell you the truth. If it smells bad, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know. Oh, man. And it smells good. It smells very good. Okay, okay. I would buy it. Not, I wouldn't pay retail. Now, y'all know I won't pay retail for anything, but... If it were on sale, I'd get it. It smells good. But you know what? Because of this cotton picking packaging, I wouldn't buy it because I wouldn't bring that into my house. That just that just makes me mad. That's not it's just not necessary. Okay, now I'm off my soapbox. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> but that perfume does smell really, really good. And I would consider getting it if it was in different packaging, if it were on sale. Okay. So today what we're gonna it is kind of burning my eyes a little bit, sorry. I squirted right there. Okay, we're going to start off today. We are doing Laura Geller. Almost everything I'm doing is Laura Geller. Um, I'm doing the bake shop kit. I think that's what it's called, the bake sale. The bake sale kit. And uh, beautiful blushes. Let me grab this. I don't know if y'all can see. Woo! I have it all in here. Anyway, beautiful colors. I'm not using everything from that kit. But I will be using Laura Geller, except for my Mally Mascara, because I do not have Laura Geller Mascara. And you know, all know my, my bronzer for my beautiful double chin down here. Take it away, take it away. And it will. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so those are the two. Oh, look. Awesome. Ah, I love it. Okay, it's gone. It's gone, people. It's gone. <laughs> that just makes me so happy. So, anyways, we're going to put that down. Put this down. I did use my normal uh, foundation concoction that I mix myself. But I put Balance and brown, Brighten over it. And um, I own it in every single color, the Balance and Brighten, except for the porcelain. But I'll get that one next. All right, here we go, folks. As you can see, you... I've contoured, I've contoured, so now we're going to start writing on the blush. Look at this color. It is called Pink Buttercream. I could just eat that up. I'm telling you, isn't that gorgeous? I love it, I love it. So let me grab my blush brush here and uh, put this on for you. Oh, it's very strong. Start off with the light hand. Oh, but it's stunning. Mm-hmm. Uh, it will last you forever because it is very, very strong. It's it's a very pigmented color, as you can see. Unless that's just my camera, this is quite pigmented. So I'm going to take it down a little bit with a little balance and brighten. But I'm loving that color. I really am. Oh. Laura Geller, you do awesome blushes, girl. Awesome, awesome makeup. I tried the spackle for the first time. It came in this kit. I love spackle. I love spackle. Now, now y'all all know I'm a diehard Melanista. I make no bones about that. Melly baby. But, girls, I am also, I'm a Geller girl now. I am a Geller girl. I love, love, love. And I also found out there's a new name for something. They call them tartlets. <laughs> Which just tickled the, the fire out of me. Tartlets. For the girls who like tart. Now, 
I've only tried a couple things from Tarte, and it made my eyes burn. A mascara, an aqua gel one, so I'm not messing with that. But I'll tell you what, Laura Geller, that's some good stuff. I am in love and love and love. I've got to get the concealer and see how it works. Okay, so that's a real pretty, pretty blush. I love it. What do y'all think? Then I'm going to take this other blush. It's um, Blush and Brighten and Como. The highlighter is in Portofino, and I'm going to use some of that Portofino to highlight up in here, and then again up in here, and sweep across that. There we go. I'm going to take my blush to my eyes. Wow, that is a really highly concentrated color. It is gorgeous, though. Now, girls, with your eyes, you can stop with it just like that. Put on some mascara, some liner. You're good to leave the house. It would work beautifully. Look, girls, no sunglasses today. I feel naked like I don't have my jewelry on. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Ah! Okay. Okay, so yeah, y'all could just stop you more natural girls. Just that little bit of pink flush. That would do it just great for you. Okay. But I'm not going to end there. I'm now going to take this uh, Rome and Milan Marble Shadow by Laura Geller. And I'm just going to take a, a fluffy brush, just a little, and go into the darker color. Tap it off. And I'm just going to go to the outer corners of my eyes and into my crease. We're going to keep this a little bit lighter. Well, that's what I say. It may start off lighter, but who knows what it'll end up being. <laughs> I never even know. Okay. See, that's just real nice. That I think we're going to stick with it light because I really like it. This Laura Geller. I'm telling you, girls, if you're not a Geller girl, hey, I am an equal opportunity makeup lover. Yes, there are some brands that I, I just prefer to others that I just think are the best. But, uh... There are some, again, like Laura Geller, I have never tried her. My friend Edie Cochetti talked me into trying Laura Geller, and I did. And now I can't buy enough. So you never know. Now I'm taking that lighter color and just going in the front part. Do you know what? That's a real pretty color, but I wouldn't have put those two colors in the same little pot. I wouldn't have. I'd have made that a more of a pinky color, the lighter one. Just my opinion. Just me. But that's what I've done. <laughs> now I'm going to take this in the color uh, Plum Pudding Black Forest. And I'm going to dump, push my brush into the, um, the deeper plum color and just go over what I just did in my crease. There we go. That works. That works. <laughs> Love that. And I wiped the wrong eye. Y'all know this backward thing gets me all turned around when you're watching yourself do it in the camera. It's crazy. I do it wrong every time. Okay. That does. That looks real pretty. So, Maybe I'll take a little of that port Portofino and just stick it here. It's a nice, pretty, shimmery. I really enjoy it. It's a pretty, shimmery color. Um, there we go. That's quite nice. I'm going to take my blush brush and just go over it, smooth it out. You could wear this to your work, to the office, to dinner with your husband, anywhere. So I like it. It's a good look. Now I'm going to take this Laura Geller lipstick. Ooh, and it's pretty. And 
And then I'm going to take, um, I'll just take that blush. I'm going to lighten it up a little. We're custom creating our own colors, girl. All, all great makeup artists do that. They blend all their colors to get the color they want because no one makes the perfect shade of pink. No one makes the perfect shade of red. You have to mix just to get what you want. And anyway, y'all know I like mixing everything. So, And then I'm just going to take some of the Laura Geller Gloss. It's in the um, Dream Cream Palette, the Tropic Hues. Mmm, see? That's working. I like it. I hope y'all like it. Um, I'm still not pleased with the color of my lid. I just, I had never tried that um, champagne -y color on the side. It just doesn't go. At least it doesn't look like it does on my computer thing. So I'm just going to take a Laura Geller pink. And ladies, I'm just going to slap it on top. If it doesn't work, I'll pull a baby wipe out and take it off. But of course it's going to work beautifully. Yay! I knew it was going to work. Oh, much better, girls. Much better. That makes me feel... That makes me feel... Well, I'm just going to drop everything. That makes me feel much better. Okay. Now, um, the whole eye rims thing, I'm new with. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to keep this a daytime look. I'm not going to go as dark, so I'm going to do something different than what I planned. I'm going to take this from the bake shop, I'm going to take the darkest brown and use the uh, angled end of the brush. And I'm just going to turn this into some eyeliner. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Do y'all like it? I do. That's going to work well. Okay. And even if you kind of make a mess, like I just kind of messed it up a little bit, just keep blending, blending, and it'll all work out. And then you'll be done, and you'll be like, shoot, I am looking good, baby. <laughs> My honey needs to take me out to dinner. That's it. Go put on y'all's makeup and have your man take you to dinner. Tell him it's time. You need a date. I need a date. Honey, I need a date. <laughs> I bet y'all get one, too. <laughs> Y'all forgive my hair. We've had some odd weather, this humidity and all. Okay, I've got that on. So now I'm just going to um, take a gel liner, just any old gel liner, and just do a thin line. Just because with my hair so dark, I need that darkness on top of my lid like that. Oh yeah, see there? That works. This is a NYC. It's a NYC metalized cream shadows in black. I got it at the Dollar Tree. A dollar. And look, it works well. And you can't beat a dollar for the pricing. That you just you can't do better than that. So I love it, love it. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my mascara. I forgot where I put it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> it had fallen down. Okay. And y'all know two coats on top, one on bottom. I'm not even going to say it because you know I will do more than that for myself. <laughs> I just love my mascara. 
<clears throat> excuse me, all this weather changing. Okay. Y'all get to see me make all the funny faces. Be sure to um, subscribe if you're watching this. And if you have subscribed, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And be sure you can share my videos with anybody. Get me as many subscribers as possible. <clears throat> I think when I hit 300 subscribers, we're going to do another video, uh, another giveaway. And I'm already at like 240 or something like that. So let's get some more because I want to do another giveaway. That was fun. I loved it. Okay, ladies. It looks like we're through. What do you think? How does it look to you? I think it looks good. And I did it in under 20 minutes, even with my big mouth running the whole time. So I'm real impressed. And I know my husband will be even more impressed because he doesn't think I can do one in under 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, so y'all see I've got the new camera. So we've gone HD, baby, HD. Woo! And uh, love it, love it, love it. Uh, so my husband is now my new cameraman. Uh, he's my cameraman and my producer and my support and my my cheerleader and my champion and everything. He's just my man. I love him so much. But we're doing this together now. So I won't be doing this these videos at 4 in the morning like I used to. Now Ray will be helping me get it done and get them out there to you. So we can turn out the best quality possible. I just want to thank y'all again. You mean so much to me. I love y'all so much. Please leave comments. Remember, also on Facebook, I got a little mascara right here. Also on Facebook, you can go to um, my page. It's Love My Big Girl Makeup. And here on YouTube, it's just Love My Big Girl Makeup, all one word. So come see me. Let's start chatting. It's all about makeup and a little chit chat, some fun, a little girl talk. Whatever. Let's just be good friends and have a nice time. And I love y'all, and I will talk to you later. You have a great one. Bye-bye.